Right. But uh, I was here for the whole the whole time. Back when my name was Trent. I, I my what? username my username was Trent from 2014 to early 2015. Then I I switched that up real fast because that was a name I yeah I was gonna say I came up with that name in like in middle school. So also I, given given your your friendship with uh, Cameron. Yeah. Cameland. Yeah. Rest in peace, Cam. I, I, I think he's, he's only in California, man. Let's end this with style, man. Corn versus Bayonetta. What the hell am I looking at? <laughs> what kind of style are we trying to end it? I could not tell you. Munal, thanks for the sub, man. Oh. I miss Mo you, dude. Munal, not like a funnel. Oh. But we funnel in stocks down so the track like that. So Ralphie just completely <laughs> disintegrated Juice's stock there with the down smash. It wouldn't be a smash four if we didn't end this with Bayonetta. So let's just get it over with. Let's jump into it. I would actually love that kind of an ending because New York. No, is, same. I, it's fitting. New York is a very strange region in that Bayonetta is an oddly underrepresented character. Yeah, like there. Ralphie and Jen's secondary. Though. And that's most of the representation as far as the city goes. Long Island has quite a number of Bayonettas, but. They don't perform nearly as well as Ralphie and Jen. And then the city has, and I always forget his tag because he switches it so often, but the city has its own Bayonetta. And there's a couple players upstate. But overall, that's enough Bayonetta's you can count on your hands. Yeah. Meanwhile, we have more Yoshis than we'd like to talk about. <laughs> and a Escape different. from Yoshi's Island. There's no escape. Listen, man, if everything I know about the next game is true, we're returning very shortly. All right, so we got ourselves a pretty close match here. Both opponents have high percents on their final stocks. Juice representing Corrin, Ralphie on the Bayonetta. Unorthodox picks, but well practiced nonetheless. Ooh, he almost got caught by that forward smash. This could be a potential edge guard. He's going super deep for that neutral air. He didn't need he to. He was do dead! It. He was wow. dead! And now you're dead! Yo, sick edge guard, man. Bit unfortunate, but Juice gonna take game one. Alright. Uh you know, we mentioned this briefly in the previous game, but uh Grants is the best of three. So, yeah, so Ralphie cannot Ju afford to be thrown. Juice. Away from like this. Oh, what's up, Juice? You know, you know, he'll be home soon. He will be so home soon. Hey. Let's go. I'll see you soon, dude. But uh, yeah, this is Juice's one game away. Oh, let's winning, not mess around winning, no more. From winning right. the finals, you know, uh, Ralphie going right back to Cloud. He started with Cloud, he's gonna finish with Cloud. Like I was saying earlier, we're either granted uh, House defending the title one last time, or a new champion. Either crayons or glue, man. <laughs> Just trying to get that up tilt. Keep resetting the situation. Yeah, down tilt is going to be that great combo start for him to connect some up airs on that platform. Good spacing with that back air. Trying to land away. That down air 8 went through both of those swings from Dragon Fang shot. It's a big sword. And also, it's two quite terrible moves. Like, yeah, there's a paralyzer effect on Dragon Fang shot, but. That was a good side B from Juice. It forced him to go for an air dodge, so he had to go, you know, spend his limit to get back to the stage. Yeah, while the character might not be nearly as polished as Zero Suit, the mindset is still there, and Juice is a very smart player. Yeah, he can translate. Good side B coming from Juice, actually killing him from across the stage, Ooh. one stock away from Juice winning the final Zeno, winning his first Zeno to boot against Ralphie. Ralphie's not going down without a fight, sends him flying. Still is in this game. Ralphie has lost game one before to past opponents and then brought it back. <laughs> that down air sent him. If he didn't save his double jump, I swear Juice would be dead. This is really awkward. Like, yeah, Juice came back, but still he's getting pressure to high hell by Ralphie. All of a sudden, all that momentum Juice brought into this grand final just seems sapped away. <laughs> Like Bayonetta was not the answer. It was Cloud Strife. That shield looking super weak. He had to move. And the last hit's gonna be picking off, but will it secure the kill? No, it won't. That cross slash was such a trap. Oh, top of that up tilt. No, I'm playing patient. I'm curious as to why Juice picked into it. Probably to stay against Bayonetta. Maybe. Possibly. Could be a comfort pick. We go saw earlier in the bracket that Ralphie had lost to, uh, to Juice's zero suit. So. Either way, we're finding ourselves in a position where very well, like, 
may see a game three, especially if Ralph continues this aggression. Yeah. Power Tilt's going to secure it. You are just mentioning aggression, man. I saw all that shield pressure whittling down. This, he spaced out the forward air, so he gave him plenty of space to immediately throw out the forward tilt in case he tried to retaliate with anything. Because that's what clouds want. Clouds want you to act out of shield. That's like their entire game plan. They want you to go for a grab out of shield. They want you to, they want you to go for a tilt or a jab or something out of shield so they can then punish it because they can hit your shield for free. Going into game three, I'm trying to think about this now. Stage-wise, Smash feels the ban, and I feel like it was a really smart ban from Ralphie. Counted City is the pick. All right. Sort of like forced his way into this one, though, I feel. Because if he picked into any other stage, like... Cloud would have no issue with contesting. Yeah, Ralphie, one game away from setting, resetting this bracket. Can he do it? I think he can. Just to put it bluntly, I feel like at the rate that Ralphie is going now with this Cloud running on all cylinders, like he's not looking to give this Grants away for free. But the champ of Pistol Learn, that's cute. You know, even on this game's deathbed, everyone's got their little tricks to pull out. Yeah. I mean, if there's any time to do it, it's now here in Grand Finals. Game three for the reset. There's nothing left to hide. You saw Corny going for a lot of down tilts. Down tilts being such a great combo starter for her. It allows her to connect that into an up tilt and some aerials as well. I think it's a certain higher percent. Trying to bait out that air dodge. Trying to just see if, Ralphie just wants to feel how Juice will react to certain actions. Tries to get the spike afterwards. Dragon Ascent is particularly difficult to punish in that regard. It's it just sends it a it's a strange angle with an odd disjointed hitbox. And it's just weird. So again, just trying to space out the back airs again. Now one thing in particular I like about Ralphie's play in this moment is that he's not trying to fish for a reason to use his limit. But of course when the play beam. As you say <laughs> Man, I hate when he uses limit play beam. Sometimes it works, sometimes he just dies. That junk doesn't do anything for him. Now he's sitting at 129. Dash tag, never mind, he's gonna be able to delete that stock. Final life for both players. You know, barring no more questionable bleed beams, I feel like Ralphie still had this. This is a very confident first stock for Ralphie. He had no issue bringing up the uh, percentage. And yeah, Juice was able to trade in his own merits, but overall it was more like Ralphie was able to dictate that first stock, and Juice is looking to turn that around. Ooh, trying to get that follow-up afterwards. Good catch, recognizing the jump. Had to retaliate with a down air instead. Baits out the grab. Tries to go for the trump, but Juice saw it coming. Goes for the ledge jump instead. This could be big! Yeah. Gets the neutral air into the confirmed back air. We have a bracket reset. Of course we go to true finals. There is no truest finals than this. The end all be all final set. Big end. True ending. We have finally did everything for the past four years. <laughs> we picked Led the up right to options. this moment. We finally did the right path. We did the right timeline. Everything's set to get the, the true end. But which one's the true end? Is it Ralphie winning or Juice winning? Well, it remains to be seen as we go right into it for game one of the true finals. And in this true ending, we have unlocked Juice's main. Zero Suit out, fresh into the field, looking to fight off against Ralphie's Bayonetta, who is opting to start the set with this once again. Now, the reason Ralphie wanted to start with Bayonetta here, because it is technically a double blind pick when you restart a set, he originally went Bayonetta in that previous set because he didn't want to fight Zero Suit Samus with Cloud. Then when he saw that he was going corn, he's like, okay, I'm just going to go to Cloud then. So now that there's a bracket where he says, okay, you're going to pull out your main now that you have a bracket. This is the final bracket. So that's why he opted to go for the Bayonetta chair of choice. That's just my theory at least. And the sound theory at that. And for what it's worth, this matchup in particular is incredibly volatile, regardless of the fact that there might be a disparity of the uh, skill behind each character, with Juice being on his main and Ralph being on his a little bit less practiced secondary. This could still end out in anyone's way. Like, Bayonetta has no issue taking stocks off of Zero Suit, and Zero Suit has no issue pulling the trigger. Yeah, Juice is a solid opening, dashed up, went for an up B. Now he gets a lot off of down tilt. Good ending to a bit of a flub combo. 
Down there at least would have covered a little bit of where she yeah. just moved or just uh, cover some options with that down there. Yeah. The afterburner kick coming out to lead into that eventual back air. I'll be putting a point on the board. Now sitting at these lower percentages is typically where Juice runs away with the stock. So we'll see what he can do here. Gets himself back to stage. Ralphie now sitting at 60%. Coming off the ledge here, I feel like this is still not too bad of a situation for Ralphie. If he still finds his way out of the danger zone of Juice once he starts looking for those kills, at any point, Ralphie can turn it around. But he does start to, he does need to start looking for a uh, beginning to combos of his own, whether they're for reversals or if they're just connecting the right hits while on stage. Ooh. Platform moving in actually ruined things for Juice a little bit. It forced a bit of an option split because the down beat kick would not have done anything. He's gonna get something there though. Yeah, definitely forced him to recover that way. There we go. Game number one going to Juice again. This the start of the previous game as well. Will we see a character swap from Ralphie? The, possibly his final character swap. What's he gonna do? A lot's riding on this. With Lilat out of the, the picture, the cloud kick yeah. is almost assured. Cloud. And I can see us going to town and city, and that's where we'll be going. Potentially last match of Smash 4 in this building on stream. Can Ralphie bring it back against Juice's Zero Suit? That is the question on everyone's mind. And they're just dancing around each other until he finally finds that opening with a short hop up air. Bit of evasive movement, but things end well in Ralph's favor. It's all a matter about like how often is he going to be able to set up for the situation, keep Juice in the jungle, keep him bleeding. Because we've seen how easily Juice can rack up damage. It just happens. You mess up once, if you don't lose your stock, you're coming back a heavily bruised. Right there, Ralphie went for a double jump because if he would have committed to an air dodge, Juice would have been played patient and got the kill afterwards. So good to call out from Ralph. Okay, still guys. Back onto the stage. And do that reverse neutral air to try to lead into a cross slash. Or at the very least, just curb some of this pressure. Force to use his limit to come back. Pretty sure he uses jump. Yeah. He got, he got he covered it. Off. And he's doing a lot of holding down during climb hazard to go through the ledge in order to just try to catch his opponent. Yeah, putting out that hitbox there, it might not be the best of hits, but if it's going to stop Juice from putting out the down smash or hitting him in any way to check that recovery to stage, it's going to extend that stock, and he has to go for everything he can here. Catches him out of the down air, a brave soul, one stock away. Can Juice pull this off? Ralphie needs to end out this stock quickly. Otherwise, Juice can make fantastic use of this rage and end out the night. It all starts with that first hit. Yep. Gets the stun. This could be big for Juice. Up air. Gets the platform as well. But Ralphie retaliating with a down air at the very last moment. The boldest of aerials. In that situation, Juice potentially could have reversed with the upbeat. Could have ended it right then and there. The grab into the boost kick is going to send off Smash 4 at Xeno with Juice as your new champion and your final champion. That thing I said was gonna happen, happened. Look it did, that. yeah, you gotta get that letter. There it gonna is. Gonna go for it again? Oh, look, reset, cute reset. The final. A lot. And bring him downtown. The final kill. It's over.